Hello, my very most beautiful Cancers. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So, my lovelies, we are going to be doing your April bonus reading. This reading is going to be all about the person on your mind. So, whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. Now, it is a general reading, and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So, if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my very most beautiful Cancers, please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Cancers energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. I wish I could take back my words. Intense. I wish things could be different. A lot of I wishes here. So woulda, coulda, shoulda of energy. Heavy. And I kept things from you. Yeah, this kind of feels like, let's see what we got at the bottom of the deck. You were the best thing in my life. So it kind of seems to me that we're going to use the tarot too and see what's going on. But it does kind of feel, there could have been something that kind of culminated into a pretty intense argument. Okay, um, something kind of got a little bit out of hand is kind of what it feels like to me. I feel like... Um, Especially if somebody was keeping things from you. I do feel like this person wasn't very honest about what they wanted in the first place. Somebody, This is definitely somebody who's like been playing mind games or on and off, hot and cold, that kind of a thing. Um, and they knew what they wanted the whole time, but I feel like they portrayed it differently to you. Okay? And I do feel like the thing is, is I feel like you were really good for them. I feel like you, you know, brought out good in them. Okay, I feel like you were encouraging. I think that you were in, like very supportive of this person. Um... And I feel like they're recognizing that now, but it's almost like too little too late. Like, I feel like they've already kind of blew it here. But they're definitely having a lot of regrets. I woulda, coulda, shoulda. Let's take a look and see. Show me what's going on with this person's headspace. Show me what's going on with this person's thoughts. What's going on with this person's thoughts when it comes to cancer, please? The strength part. Yeah, so I kind of feel like couple different things. One, the strength card. I do feel like this person is kind of like holding themselves back. Um, I also feel like it's kind of like ego pride kind of energy kind of coming up um, for this person. Like some stuff that they really need to like work on with that. I feel like they kind of, um, you know, showed their ass in a situation. I don't really know another way to say it. Um, you know, like showed, you know, Show the negative side. I feel like that is really like what is standing out, you know, very strongly in your mind now. It could be a Leo that you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be. What else is going on? Five of Wands in the reverse. So, you know, Five of Wands in the reverse is like cooperation, getting along. I feel like they don't want the drama. They don't want to argue. I feel like they are holding themselves back, but they do wish that you know that you guys could. Um, you know, work things out, kind of work through some things here. Like I said, a lot of regrets, a lot of what would have, could have, should have energies. What's going on in this person's heart space? What's going on in their feelings when it comes to cancer? Three of Wands. So that can be an energy of sending something out. It can also be an energy of hope. It can be an energy of future thinking as well. So I do feel like this person could still have some hope that maybe in the future, you know, let's see, yeah, maybe in the future that you guys can, um, you know, they still have hope in their heart space that maybe you guys can have a positive conversation. You know, this is your card, Cancer Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups sometimes to me can speak of like really positive, like a conversation, a really good conversation, a really good communication. Um, it's just a really good connection to it. It's a perfect match. So I do feel like, you know, in this person's heart, you know, they do still have hope that maybe someday you guys can work through some of this stuff. Um, and you guys can have like a positive conversation and things can work out. Um, you know, future thinking. That's that's in their heart space, holding out hope for the future. Ooh. 
but analyzing the pain that they've caused, I feel like um, we're going to take it because it fell out and I just I feel like we're supposed to. I don't always take them, but I don't always feel like we're supposed to. So, um, Seven of Pentacles and Three of Swords. I definitely feel like this person is, um, you know, a little hurt and disappointed about the way that things have, you know, the way that things are between the two of you, the way that things went down. You know, like I said, a lot of regrets. And this can be a card of, like, overanalyzing things as well. So really analyzing, you know, where they mess things up at, where they're disappointed at. You know, thinking about the pain that they've caused you as well. Show me this person's true intentions. What are their true intentions when it comes to cancer? I've got the chariot in the reverse. And I'm not going to take all of that. I was going to, but it's too many. So show me this person's true intentions. If it's meant to come out, it will. Show me this person's true intentions. What are their true intentions when it comes to cancer? What are their true intentions? Four of Wands. Three of Cups. So I do feel like they do want a reunion. Happy home, happy family. This is your energy as well, Cancer, with a Three of Cups. You got a, kind of a, you have a couple cards for Aries out here. You have Leo twice as well. Could be another Cancer. Doesn't have to be, but those are the signs that are sticking out to me the most. Um, you got Libra here twice as well with the Three of, or the Libra here once with the Three of Swords. But you know, I do feel like they, they do want some kind of reconciliation. They do want some kind of positive outcome with you. They have hope for the future. Um, you know, they do want to kind of work through things. They don't want to argue. They want to cooperate. They want to, like, fix things. I feel like they recognize, you know, how good you were for them. But they, they really screwed things up here. Um, let's see, take a look at their actions. Show me this person's actions towards cancer. What are this person's actions towards cancer? What actions will they be taking? Any potential actions? We've got the queen of pentacles and the king of cups. So they have a lot of emotion for you. Um, but this could be like a crossroads energy. I do feel like this person, neither one of these are really big action cards. Um, you know, this can kind of be like waiting for the right time. They could be working on themselves, trying to get themselves to a more stable place. It is kind of like a crossroads energy as well. I do feel like they have a lot of emotion for you. Um, but I don't really see them taking any action at this time. I do feel like they're kind of just like holding out for the future. This could be really them trying to, um, you know, work on some things and get themselves to a good place for when they do, you know, approach you. Because I do feel like they, they do intend to at some point. You know, I just don't see it right the second. Um, you know, this feels very future thinking to me, you know, like daydreaming, hoping that things can work on the future, that things can be different. And this can also be, sometimes the Queen of Pentacles to me can speak about just time. You know, I feel like they could be just trying to give it some time, give it some space, um, you know, to calm down after whatever happened here between the two of you. But that is what I see here, guys. Um, if this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you guys need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I'm sending so much love and light until next time.